Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god Someone put a plug I think I've had enough I don't wanna suffer This love is getting tougher My heart needs a cool Guys, Tony Bass, Swiss Commando Athletics here, and we are back with another video. Yes, we are in the same background. We have the same scenery going around right now. Beautiful day out in the Kennery. Got the short shorts on right now. But um, today's video is going to be about the three things you need to be a successful college soccer player. Let's get right to it. All right, guys, so first things first, you're going to want to be super, super dedicated and motivated to the craft. Now, why exactly may you want to be dedicated or motivated to the craft? quite simple you know you want to be on the starting team you want to be in the a team's practices you want to do all that nice stuff you want to travel you want to make those away game blogs well you're going to have to be dedicated you know i remember at lewis every single night i'd be working out and then i'd come back into my dorm and just be so tired from what, everything that i've done that i'd almost not want to take a shower which is disgusting but i ended up taking one it, it's just you want to consistently be hitting every single aspect of your game that needs improvement for me it was always work hard on the field and in the gym I think two 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 times two three times a, a day to be honest with you I was in there two to three times a day in the beginning I was I, I run in, in the morning you know get my my little steps in and whatnot to wake me up as well uh, the second training session would be my my soccer you know we'd have a great session and then from there i would get my food for the day or for the night and then right before i eat i would go to the gym hit a gym session go eat and then i believe one more time i would go to the to the gym and, and hit some incline treadmill for for my walks now I know to get into the the top programs you really need the good grades and that's something you're gonna still have to keep up with in college I know it sucks cuz it's like oh you already made it you're here why do I need to try you know I'm, I'm, I'm where I want to be in soccer and I know a lot of people think that just cuz they're there right now that they're gonna be there forever and whatnot and you're gonna continue playing professionally which I really really hope everyone watching this does you know that's awesome great goal to have but uh, the harsh reality is sometimes things happen you know injuries which god forbid i hope none of you guys have to go through that but um the injuries are a huge part you know and so you always want to have your your backup be your academic side and that's why it's a good thing to to really push yourself in the classroom as much as you're pushing yourself in the on the field and, and that's uh that's something that i i struggle with you know i still to this day struggle with that just because you know, I always want to focus on just athletics. You know, I want to be the best athlete that I can be. And, and sometimes that bites me in the in the ass. But, you know, you just got to, coming from experience, you need to have the good grades to play, you know. Sometimes the coaches are going to be like, no, you can't play just because you don't have the grades. You can't, uh, you can't play this week, stay in the classroom, get extra help, and then maybe next week we'll reevaluate if you even push yourself a little bit to, to play. And I would say the third thing that's gonna help you be the, the best soccer player and a, a very, very, um, just a very good student athlete at the college level is having a healthy lifestyle. Now, what do I mean by that? Uh, it, there's a lot of things, you know? Um, I know that in college, there's a lot of parties and, and drinking and, and, and stuff like that. But when you're really dedicated, which goes back to number one, you're gonna you're gonna shy away from it, you know. You're not gonna you're not gonna want to go to the parties every night because you're, you're too busy. Get up with schoolwork, which comes with number two. But you're not gonna be able to do all that stuff, you know. You're just gonna want to chill, relax, get your your relaxation in the way. Like make that stuff your priority, you know. You wanna you wanna be healthy. You don't wanna be consuming too many calories where you're gaining weight. You don't wanna be trying to lose weight during the season because in the that, that's just not going to help in the long proper diet as well you know that's that's just something that's hugely overlooked especially in college you know a lot of people like unless you're at a very very top university where they're making you meal plans and whatnot you're gonna have to learn what foods you have to eat before the game what foods you could eat after the game what foods that are best for recovery which ones should you not be eating at all even though i disagree with that i think everything should be 
can can be eaten in moderation and, and those are the the three that i really do believe are key factors in showing that you are a good soccer player in the college level you know you got to be disciplined you got to be good in the classroom and you got to have a good lifestyle to live you know you can't be a you just can't. You just gotta live a good lifestyle. That's all I'm saying, man. You know, everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. All right, you guys. So that is gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I, I do believe that these three things are something that need to be told to every incoming freshman, and, and I really hope you guys take it into account when you guys go into your college uh, journey. So keep that in mind. Continue grinding. And I'll catch you guys. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Someone put a plug. I think I've had enough. I don't wanna suffer. This love is getting tougher.